a rare and elusive Anatolian leopard, which is uh, previously believed to be extinct, or I should say locally extinct subspecies, was filmed for the first time in 45 years in Turkey. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we get to watch it, right? We got the footage. <coughs> for once, we can watch we something. Here yes, we go. Patreon. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Uh, by, by the way, I've been to Turkey only to Istanbul. I didn't know there was anywhere in Turkey that was this pretty. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, dude, Turkey's really, Turkey's amazing, dude. It is. Like when you get up into like uh, the mountains and Look stuff, it's wow. wilderness. Look at that pattern. I didn't realize that big, really. Big um, healthy cat, dude. But just what a cool thing to see. This was all caught on trail cameras by, by uh, this professor, these doctors up there that were studying, doing camera trapping. But so cool. Anatolian leopards. You know, they're a subspecies of, of leopard. They're, um, they were believed to be extinct for a little while, and then they found some, I think, in Iran, I want to say, in 2016, uh, somewhere over there. But they're all that area, right? Like Iran, Iraq, Turkmenistan, yeah. Afghanistan, that whole region. And mm. then none in at least recent human history, like since, I don't know, the early 1900s have been known to be in Turkey, period. And wow. then all of a sudden, bam, here we go. Well, I guess 45 years, right? Cause it's considered extinct 45 years. So for 45 years, so I have the dates wrong, they haven't seen them in Turkey. Oh, here it is. Turkish officials said the last leopard thought to be killed in 1974. Okay, that's a long and here time. here they are, back. So, Kyle, can you pull that video back up? Is this, do you, you may be able to tell, but I was trying to tell, is this possible this is a pregnant female? Hmm. You see the midsection? Waggling belly there. Maybe not. No, that's a male. And I'll okay. show you where you see it. If you back up there, Kale. See a little Kale. ding ding? Kale. Right there. Uh, oh, yeah. balls. Got some nice Beautiful nuts. set. Yeah. Nice wow. set. Nice <laughs> Adorable sack. set. Nice <laughs> yeah. sack. And I, you know what? I hope he does have a nice sack because there is only estimated to be between 10 and 15 Anatolian leopards left in the wild. So, wow, um, you know, he needs to take That's that sack and do something with it. So so do you think that uh, there's others or at least like one more in this area? Are they solo or, or what do you think? Well, like like all leopards, they are solitary animals, so they don't, you know, cruise around in a pack or a pride or anything like that. So but at the same time, that's a male, as we just identified. He's probably expanding his territory for a reason, you know, whether that's seeking out new females, looking for new hunting grounds. Maybe he's been pushed out by another male. It's a good sign. Anytime you see something like that, you see a big cat expanding its range, going into a new area. It's a good sign. Healthy, too, as Pat said. I mean, looked fucking well fed. I mean, perfect. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It is pretty, pretty exciting. Yeah. Kyle just dropped a nugget into the chat and said that the that it was driven near to near extinction because of trophy hunting. Yeah, that's well, gross. and and that's what's interesting about that is is that's all accurate, but it's like trophy hunting from like the 30s, you know. So this is sort of right. older mm. and, and from that region that I pointed out, you know, that that like Georgia, Armenia, Iran, Iraq, mm. Turkmenistan, blah blah blah. So it's right. like old school like you know, sheiks out on camels, you know, it's not like modern day, I have a giant rifle and I'm going to go blast it in the head, trophy hunting. It's is like back in the day trophy hunting that drove them to near extinction, which is interesting. Yeah, but you know, still. It's, no, it's <laughs> so still, like when you, go ahead. when you talk about regional extinction, right? Um, it feels like, so like this made news all over the world, which is cool. Like Miami Herald and New York, a lot of big papers in the US like yeah. publish this. Yeah. Um, Explain regional extinction and if it's important or not. Certainly. So, yeah. So regional extinction means the animal has been extirpated from an area, right? So there's no longer these leopards in this country of Turkey. And so right. that's a big deal, especially because, especially with something like a leopard where it's not like there's an abundance of them in a small area because they are solitary and they do fight for territory and space. They need all the range they can get. So as soon as an animal becomes regionally extinct, meaning it's extinct from this region, that's a big deal. And that mostly is a big deal because it imbalances the ecosystem, right? Mm. That cat is undeniably at the top of the food chain in that area. And so when you remove that cat from that, you have an imbalance in, in the entire trophic right. cascade of, of the area. So all the undulates, all the herbivores, they go crazy, which drives the grass population down or the leaf population down based on the vegetation, which then hurts the bunnies, you know? So it's like a whole, 
it's all tied together. And so regional sure. extinction is definitely a big deal. And especially when it comes to an apex predator. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Dude. Beautiful looking animal. Yeah. I was excited. I thought that was very I'd cool. Fuck it. Did you get a little, uh, a little like sense of uh, tingle in your wee wee or your, your pee pee? To be honest, I just asked myself, why didn't they try a meat tree sooner? Like that's all. I know. That, uh, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. have we not shown For people real. how to do this by now? Like, just put a meat tree up. That's all you have to <laughs> right. do. Yeah. Forty-five years, son. Yeah. Like, you could have just made a meat tree. You would have found it in seventy-seven. Yeah. Um, no, but did it bring you back? Did you get a little? I was of, of watching the trail cam footage in yeah, Zanzibar. It's exciting. It's exciting. I mean, anytime just seeing big cats is exciting, but in order to, you know, to see yep. an extinct leopard, like that still has so much that holds so much weight as our first big find, you know, the first find we ever had being in Zanzibar, oh, yeah. what it was, what it meant for conservation, the fact that we were no longer like tinfoil hat lunatics and like right. take it seriously. <laughs> right. Like that was a That's big very deal. true. Yeah. So yeah. That's definitely. what drove you to smash the, the, the hardest part of your forehead into multiple people's faces and noses on the bus. Oh, if you're not, nightmare. if you're not aggressively headbutting people when you're happy, like, are you actually <laughs> even a rugby player is a question. You <laughs> are you even happy? Fact. Yeah. Are you yeah. happy? 